Yo, coming at you from my living room with a little bit of a craft today. I just got in some new merch. These awesome new crew neck sweaters. This is a black one. I also got charcoal. Uh, it's super soft. This is like the nicest sweater I've actually ever gotten. Look at that fuzz right there. And I also got some more of these Unathletics hoodies. Just a few more sizes because people were asking me about them. But anyways, with the black one, uh, I've seen YouTubers and other friends who have merch uh, do tie-dyeing. And I always thought, huh, that seems like kind of a fun thing. And it kind of puts a little bit more of a personal touch on the merch. And so I figured I would reverse tie-dye these black ones. So this is like the first time I've ever done this before. Kind of nervous, but it's a cool way to make uh, merch different. So I have three different sizes of rubber bands. Uh, I saw a YouTube video that recommended doing different sizes so that you get different streaks kind of different kind of lines on them. So it says to do the arms first. Okay, my first rubber band tied. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the other bands. Bands will make good dance. Bands will make good dance, okay. Here we go. Ooh, yeah, look at that crisscross design. Ooh. Okay. First arm is done. And invite other pieces of the sweater to the party. One piece and then you drag other pieces of the sweater to the party. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, both arms are done and tied. Now, gotta try and tie some designs on the front. I kinda wanna keep the skull broken thumb design pretty much untouched, so try and just pinch pieces around it, but we'll see. This is the first one, and it might turn out horrible, and then it might be a free giveaway, we'll see. Okay, we got it all scrunched in together. It's a big ball. Just right there was the moment it sunk in. No from luncheons. Look at these munchkins. Follow for a follow, we're all lost and we're stumbling. In a mental prison, go alive in the dungeon. Anti social, uncles and ex. Do as we're told, lol to the laugh track. Stir the pot, irk the god, see if you clap back. Cling to the past, live your life as a flashback. And that's that. Yeah, permanent eye roll. Dehydrated side plate and coffee. Safety first. Gotta get these on. And I got bleach here. And so I'm just gonna spray the front and put some towels down and wear old clothes. Oh yeah, we got our buddy right here because this is the guy from the shirt. Uh, he's chilling with us. Okay. Colors already starting to change. Just gonna rinse it first. Put my little baby underwater. I feel like I'm the mayor of Sweatshirt Town and I'm cutting the ribbon. This is what it looks like so far. Ooh, look at the back. Super cool, it's only gonna get better as time goes. It's all rinsed, and we're gonna throw it in the wash. You're doing laundry with your merch. Like this is a whole nother experience. Put in the laundry machine. We'll check in later. <laughs> okay, we got the sweaters in here. gotta put them through a light little load and then see how they turn out no 
Okay, just finished washing them and take them out now. Oh, wow. Look at that. So cool. On the back. Oh, yeah. That's too sick. So, <clears throat> I'm going to be selling these normal, just like straight up black, also straight up dark gray charcoal. And then for an extra 10 bucks, you can get it personally tie dyed by yours truly. Thank you for watching my experiment. I'm so happy that these turned out. We did a few sizes uh, just to have a couple on, on deck ready to go. Oh yeah, that's so awesome. This is the XL. And then what do we got in here? Maybe a medium? No, this is the large. Wow. So you know it's a hard time trying to think about Christmas presents and things like that. You have been supporting me so much during COVID and it's so appreciated. It's so needed right now. Even though my income has been drastically cut, I always still feel a little bit of weirdness selling merch. I know just because I know that not everyone can afford, you know, a $40 sweatshirt right now. So I always kind of felt timid about it in some respect, but it's the main thing that's keeping me afloat right now. But we don't know how much longer we're going to be in this. We don't know when live shows are going to be a thing. Right now, uh, it's a major chunk missing. So you've been extremely generous, super above and beyond supportive. It's mind-blowing to me. I know a lot of you still are struggling yourself, and you're like, I can't help in that way. Just being a part of this this list is, is amazing in itself. Went to a place called Fish Creek. It's a place where I film my survival cardio video, my tan lines video. My girlfriend actually works at Fish Creek. It's the biggest uh, park in Calgary. Just want to get some shots of the new merch out in the wild. It's a little embarrassing because I hate posing for photos while people walk by, but here goes nothing.